when we were making all these records and getting frustrated and we stopped remixing, we were just producing and writing. We, uh, I, we had some records in the studio and one of those records was Sound of One, I Know a Place. And I remember the original samples by uh, Double Exposure, Everyman. It had two samples. One was the instrumental. And the other one was... We put it on tape. I went on holiday. Fran went on holiday. Two weeks away. But that loop was just going on in my mind. And Fran's mind as well. Then when we came back, Fran started kicking it around. I started kicking it around. And it just got to the point we were listening to this loop. I'm not lying, Andy. We were in the studio and we listened to that loop for about six hours, non-stop, just listening, just doing, doing, doing. It's a ridiculous loop, you know, and we're going, oh, my God. And we were signed to ministry at the time. And we went down to ministry with this track thinking, oh, my God, yes, go on, Rick. Go on, we're good. Put it out. Da, 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 da. The a &R person at ministry goes, I, I don't, I, I don't know what what's going on here. You know, I, I, I don't understand this record. I'll give you five grand for it. I went. Me and friend went. Yeah, okay, fine. Fuck off. <laughs> went out driving the car like this. Going, this is what's wrong with this geezer? He's fucking, you know, because <laughs> we knew the record was a hit. That's why we called it the Sell Sell Nugget. We knew it was a big record, and so we're driving back to the studio, thinking this fucking guy. You know, he goes, you know what? We'll do it ourselves. So we pressed the record ourselves, and I had a list of 50 DJs. We gave it to those DJs, and the rest is history. It just blew up. It got bootlegged, got 10,000 bootlegs, and then it starts getting the attention of the bigwigs. Pete Tong was going to play the record, and Pete Tong at that time was God. He plays the record, then we get the phone call from Phil Faversham, who used to work at FFRR. He said to me in front, on speakerphone, he goes, Rick, there's 50 grand records and there's no, 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 no records. This is one of those records. Let me know. Me and Fran doing, fucking I'm starting with that. I'm I'm buying a house, you're buying this, we're doing that. Da, 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 da. And the deal was done. And it just got to number six in the pop charts. You're not going to tell us what the advance was. It was good. It was good papers. So you're not going to tell us? I'm not telling you. <laughs> oh, I can't tell you that. I know. I wouldn't ask, but I it wouldn't was, be doing it, my it, job it, if I didn't ask. Really, I wouldn't expect you to tell me. It was very healthy. Very Did you buy the house? Uh, yes. Fantastic. Congra congratulations. And Fran as well. Yeah.